guys, it's Liv. Welcome back to my channel. I've done a few movie night snacks videos over the past few months and you guys really seem to like them. So I thought today was the perfect time to do another one with all new movie night snack recipes. Just a quick little sidebar before we start. Some people have been saying that they aren't getting a notification whenever I post a new video and that's because you guys need to press the bell that's next to the subscribe button in order to be notified every time that I post a new video. But that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. are going to start off by making some cake so I chose this spice cake mix I used half of the bag of mix and then added some ground flaxseed some water and some oil and then just mix that up until it was a smooth batter consistency then I poured that into a 9 inch cake pan and baked it according to the package directions so once you have a cake, let it cool mostly, and then you can just start breaking it up into little crumbles into a large mixing bowl. Then we need to add some icing, and I will of course include a recipe for some icing below. I've seen tons of cake pop recipes that use a lot of icing, and I really don't think it's necessary, so I find that using about two tablespoons is the perfect amount to get it to that cookie dough consistency, and that's the type of consistency you're looking for. So just like you would with cookies, you're going to take some spoonfuls of that once it's all mixed together and just roll it into balls. Then you want to take some lollipop sticks like this and dip one end in some icing and then just poke that into each one of your cake pops. Then you're going to freeze that for about 20 minutes. For the outside coating, you're going to mix some melted coconut oil with a few spoonfuls of frosting and stir it until it is a smooth consistency. For the little stand, I just used a cardboard box and I poked some holes in it with a knife. And then after I poked it a little bit with a knife, I just used the lollipop stick to make it the perfect size. After 20 minutes, you can start dipping your cake pops. So I dipped mine half in the frosting and then kind of rolled it in some sprinkles. And then you just want to refrigerate those until you are ready to serve them. Put a bowl upside down on a parchment lined baking sheet and then using some either puff pastry or some pizza dough, you're going to cut it into triangles and then put it in kind of a sun shape around the bowl like this and then just push it down a little bit and start filling it with your fillings. So I chose to just do cheese, but you could also add veggies. You could add vegan pepperoni. Really the sky's the limit. You could also do a sweet version if you wanted. And then once it's filled up, you're just going to remove the bowl and start folding over the triangles like this. So you're going to fold it over one way and then just fold the last tip of the triangle back over the gap that you created. So you can see here, I just fold it over and then fold the top of the triangle backwards over the gap. And then just bake that in the oven according to the directions in the description box below. Then just put whatever dipping sauce you like in the center. I used marinara sauce to make a pizza flavor and then you are ready to serve. For the sliders, I just took a dinner roll and then I sliced it in half and then sliced each one in half again. And then I put on some Caesar dressing, but you could also put on whatever sauce you like. And then I added some greens and then on each bun, I put one of the tofu nuggets that I made in my last video, if you guys remember, in the fast food video on each slider to make little mini chicken Caesar sliders. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you make some of these for your next movie night. If you do, please take a photo and tag me on Instagram. As always, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time.